Welcome, investors and traders. Today's video will be about stock market analytics, stock market mathematics, stock markets trying to give you an investing edge without using emotion. Before we get started, I have a passion for analytics. I have a passion for data. I also have a passion for bringing analytics to the coding side. This video is mostly about the analytics. Before we get started, 10 years when I was a lot younger, I worked on an analytics financial program. I brought that over to my own company. And then about three years ago, I reopened this project. About two years, I studied and brought all the data and analysis together to bring a certain system together. This is my system. Even if I gave you all the indicators, you need to make this your system. But thus saying that, I can definitely tell you, you will hear a passion in my voice about analytics. Remember, you need a weight of evidence with any analytics, where some information might work today, some data might work today, but some might not work another time. This YouTube channel is based off bringing analytics in different probabilities of succeeding. So each of the videos that we come will either be an indicator or recommendations about the stock market and the probabilities of succeeding. We are succeeding on individual stocks about 90% of the time. Thus saying that, talk to a financial advisor. This is a definitely a disclaimer. The video is going to be broken down into a few different parts. I'm going to start off by talking why big institutions are spending a lot of money on analytics. And if big institutions like Goldman Sachs and many other companies are looking into this, you also need to look into this also. So let's start. What is the stock market analytics and how can you benefit from it? Investing in trading analytics refers to utilization of data processing tools and provide traders with statistical analysis to support their decision-making process. What I do is I look back at previous information of many, many years and then come up with an answer. I, use, you, I utilize many tools of, of information, charts, past information to come up with sentiment, volatility, liquidity, and trends. This is not only technical analysis you can put into the data, but also fundamental analysis also. But you should be consistent with your system. Let me give you some facts. 85% of market participants plan to increase their spending on data management in the next three to five years. So that means the big institutions will increase 85%. Data analysis is mostly seen as the most important skill needed to work on a trading desk and going forward. In all industries now, from AI, the, the studying of the data is super important. This is your trading edge to find out what you don't know. Legalize inside information by using data analysis. You can see investment in data analysis technology in the next five, three to five years will increase. Important trading desk skills in the next three to five years has said data analysis is the most important, 74%, even more important than coding, which everyone's been talking about. The bottom line for trading and trading-related business in 2024, everyone needs a data strategy. And this is what I'm harping on. Have a data strategy. This is what this YouTube channel is about. It's not about emotions. It's not about giving your opinion about the stock. It's not even telling you whether you're a Republican or a Democrat. It's about giving you data, information, and seeing the probability of succeeding with a weight of evidence. 95% of respondents believe alternative data will become more valuable to the trading process in the next three to five years. You can continue further. Most useful insights expected from data and analytical tools in the next three to five years. You can see the importance. I'm telling you all this information to sell you on studying data analysis, studying mathematics of the past to get you where you need to go to the future and that this is your trading edge. Some more facts to, to 
help you decide, help you to give the verdict if you should use data analysis inside of your trading system, inside of your trading program. 74% of the market participants believe data analysis will be the top skill needed on the trading desk in three to five years. Buy side trading desk on average spend 55% of their technology budgets on market data terminals and data feeds equating to 1.5 billion annually. So if buy side trading desks are increasing their technologies and not just believing on the old way of investing, this is the new. They're even, as you know, combining this with, with coding and AI. But the first step is, before you even get to coding AI, is studying the data. We expect automation to be a huge source of new data going forward, leading to only more automation. More automation means more data. This is not driven by your emotions, these decisions, but data. So let's start at the beginning. I hope I sold you and got you to this part of the video. That means you're a little sold on what I have to say next. Defining data with a trading mindset. Now, you could be a trader. You can be an intermediate-term investor. You can even be a long-term investor. But still, using the mindset of using data analysis will help you go further. A lot of traders use data analysis, but we also use data analysis for intermediate and long-term also, as we're going to give you some examples in a few minutes. But data is, is a blanket. We're getting the information and encompass an increasing wide range of information utilized by capital market firms. Market data is well known and broadly used by these firms and includes prices at which securities and instruments can be bought or sold and details of recently completed transactions. Market participants, particularly traders, still believe in the increasing value of market data, in particular with direct feeds growing in importance over consolidated feeds. The quantity and velocity of the market data will continue to grow alongside the trading volumes. Data will become more and more. So let's give you a few examples. This is a few examples of hundreds of data analysis, mathematics, looking at previous information, either technical information, or fundamental information, but I want you to sell you on looking back in the path just with a few, few ideas. Let's look at this one. How do analytics tools work? Look at this remarkable track record. Once the S&P 500 is greater than 20% off the bear lows, a year later, the stocks have never been lower. So if you go back each time we are in a bear market and we go up 20%, Six months to 12 months, we have never been lower. Never been lower. This is the power of data analysis. Why are we so positive in the next few months? One of our weight of evidence is this. We're taking data of previous years and going forward and saying if this is 100% and other factors line up, why won't it work now? Let's look at the VIX. More looking at data analysis when there's euphoria, uh, euphoria and fear in the market and how we use that data analysis coupled with our proprietary indicator, overbought indicator, we can see many times by looking at past data what has happened. Let's continue forward. Put and call options. When something's at extreme greed or investor sentiment. We want to sell you and show you and, and, and explain to you how important all this data is. You don't have to use these data analysis points. You can have your own fundamental data analysis points. You can have your own bond market data analysis points. But isn't it useful studying the back data? Isn't it useful having a probability of succeeding and back testing it? And are you more confident if you have a high probability of what, ha what has happened previously to now. So in retrospective, analytics can help investors and traders make a better decision. Traders who utilize analytics benefit from a structured framework that enhances their comprehension of the market events and enable them, them to anticipate subsequent market activity. This framework provides valuable context and grant traders a distinct advantage leading to improved performance and reduction in errors. Moreover, when the market conditions deviate from expectations, traders who rely on analytics are typically better equipped and more prepared compared to those who do not. 
This preparedness contributes to the ability to navigate unexpected market movements effectively. This is what I have dedicated a large part of my life for. This is what I have been trading for. This is my future. I hope you found this video very useful. You know the catchphrase, study it, analyze it, adapt it, and remember, use stock market analytics. Peace.